Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I've lost the plot. This is part 100, not 100 and something. This is part 5 of this Let's Play series. As you can see, we've got a new mod to add to the mix. I've also turned off some other mods, but we'll get to that in a minute. Jill has got her quarantine hair color right now. Honey, we found a box of purple Kool Aid, uh, uh, some pa purple Kool Aid powder, and we have dyed our hair, honey, because this is our quarantine haircut. Also, no dinosaurs right now. I do what. We're smirking in the poo, by the way. I don't remember if you remember this, but we're in the sewer and we're smirking in the poo. But while we're smirking in the poo, there are no dinosaurs. That's a cute bag! There's a cute bag in there because the dinosaurs were kind of messing things up. As y'all may or may not have noticed, um, the tyrant was supposed to be chasing us. And if you... Oh, what was that? I just pooped. Good thing we're in the sewer, honey. Okay, the tyrant wasn't chasing us when we were supposed to. And so I turned off that mod. And so, honey, I've lost the plot. I've actually 100% lost the plot. Something, something's not right here, though. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? And I just keep moving on it. But I don't want to drop down there. Should I drop down? I'm, oh, oh, I didn't do it. I barely pushed the button, and now I'm down here. And now, yeah, oh, God, I'm smirking in the poo, and I'm ruining my amazing boots and my lovely um, beachy shirt. Something's going to pop out of here any second. I just know it. And I did see I don't, I don't need any more grenades. I can tell you that much. And I've also got 15 bananas in my pocket, which I think is my pistol, and a bucket of spoons as well. But something is definitely about to slip and slide out of one. Out of, oh, my God. Okay, that is definitely not something that I had done. One. That is scarier than the fucking mod. That is scarier than the dinosaurs coming at me, and I will, I will, oh my god, it's a what fucking Pokemon is this? Is that fucking guard chomp, motherfucking shit? I gotta fucking go. But listen, I gotta go. It's definitely coming towards me, too. I think I have to maybe shoot it when its mouth is open, or, you know what? There's actually a grenade on the ground, and here's the teeth. Here's the teeth. Uh, it bounced off of its head. It bounced off of it. It just bouncing off of its head, and I'm just gonna keep throwing them at him. And it's a fucking dinosaur. And this is Jurassic Park again, but it's the one where they make that dinosaur and they sell it to I don't know Cheetos. What were they doing in the last? Listen, let me. Uh, speaking of lost the plot, honey, Jurassic Park. What were they making like branded dinosaurs in the last one? Listen, I could not follow that story. You want to talk about a storyline I can't follow? Uh, the game control? Why can't I shoot these open? Or do you know what would open a door in real life? That. So there's a key card here. Or a, can I stick a banana in that slot? I can't, st I can't stick anything in there. Door won't budge. Needs a power source. Sure. Okay. Not enough power in that grenade, apparently. Well, honey, like I always say, I love a challenge. Love a challenge. Love a good mystery. Do not like smirking in the poo. In fact, I do believe going into the sewers was a little bit excessive. A little bit unnecessary for the plot of everything. Okay, we just stepped right through that dinosaur creature. And I don't even remember exactly what direction it came from. It was the other direction, wasn't it? Okay, so here's the T. I'm gonna go back in this direction, and I'm gonna try to just spot anything that might have been behind that creature. It came out of that one. It definitely smirked around in that poo. Okay, and somewhere to crawl out, I'm assuming something spooky, something amazing is gonna be in here. Is that a new- Oh, is that a new gun? Oh my god, what is this? Grenade launcher. It's a thing that launches- I, wait, I have a whole bunch of backpack stuff, too. I have my backpack space. And I found a paper. I found more. I don't even remember what we were calling these. Research assistant logs. We were calling them DIYs. Were these DIYs in our Animal Crossing? Anyway, gammas, released from the tank, moving sluggish, combat. Uh, Dr. Carlisle's for something. A specimen's fine. It's for my concerns. Oh, my God. They really put a lot of words there, didn't they? Honey, someone's job was typing. Invoice from gun shop Kendo. Special adjustments to this to this piece. To, oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Something grenade launcher, explosive rounds, explosive rounds, acid rounds. Got it, honey. Check mark that, honey. Put a pin in that. Do I have? I seem to have two ammos with with this. And where there's two ammos, honey, there's infinite. And this is flame ammo. This is actually. I'm about to set. That. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, so the T is. I can set myself on fire. Shouldn't I have infinite ammo for this? I have infinite ammo turned on, but now I'm on fire and I have nothing else. Okay, well, I saved my game, and okay, I did find another, ex oh, that's explosive something. I need to, I need to mash that together with something else. Let's combine it with regular ammo, and I can't do that. Let's combine it with, I'm just clicking on spoons. If you could just dip your spoon in there, you can't. Do not eat the explosive ammo. That's literally all I found out so far in this video game.
game, and I should probably not continue holding the gun if the gun actually does not have any ammo. That would probably be a very good thing to do. Do not want to get out my banana just yet, honey. My potassium levels seem to be okay. This poo is the next poo I was going to smirk in. This is some smirking poo coming around this corner. I have not seen a zombie in a home. There's one right there. There's a dinosaur. This, how is this scarier than the actual, okay, you need to back up. I, you know what I need to do? I need to, you can eat me. I have a really bad, <laughs> diddly dog feeling that you can eat me and I need flame ammo to throw directly into your, it's dead. It's dead, I need to stop. I got a little bit carried away right there. You know when I have infinite grenades, I get a, I tend to get a little bit carried away in games where I have infinite ammo and I feel a little bit invincible at this moment of time. Just need to um, rinse, I'm trying to rinse this hair dye out of my hair. Any chance I can get, even if I need to take a smirking in the poo bath, I will rinse out. Oh, honey, a secret. What can you say? We're getting all of the secrets. <laughs> Not a secret. We're getting all of the secrets in this game, honey, and I need to rinse the Kool-Aid out of my hair, even if it happens to be by smirking in the poo. That's all I can say. This is some gunpowder, which I will pick up. This is some shot. There's somebody dead right there, just by the way, I just want y'all to know that. And we are getting another DIY, even though that's not the plot anymore. Sewer workers notes, it happened again, they got Kane. Bill went missing, something about skipping town, this bullshit, few fucking, okay, language, the family channel. Okay, that was just a little bit rambly, honey, I think we should take that to live journal. Open up your Zanga account again, time to reactivate that. We're just gonna smirk through some poo, try to wash that cool kool aid <laughs> Kool-Aid, motherfucker. Why would you step? Why? Okay. We'll wipe the Kool-Aid powder out of my hair and just deal with this uh, dinosaur that happens to be in the sewer this exact moment. I'm just squirming a little bit. Don't let that disgust you. There's some slurpy sounds and that's it. Another room right here, but this, did I go in a, that did not go in a circle. This is very different from the room that I was in. So I'm going to get out my shotgun at this exact moment in time. I'm going to see if I can push any buttons. I love pushing buttons in video games. Lots of really interesting things. We got a batch. <gasps> Gas slides in that door. Okay, check mark that. It's a good thing I got that one bag. Oh, those are cute goggles. It won't let me upload. It won't let me upgrade to. It won't let me wear those. That would be called upgrading fashion. I need to stop grabbing gunpowder, don't I? Because I've got a lot of shit. If I smash this with this. Then I get more shit that I don't need. Okay, just put it, let's put a pin in that. More DIYs over here. I love, what I love drama. My little darlings, it's been three months since we fled here together. Think it back to the day you hatched. What if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? Okay, you're speaking to me, honey. Because you know what? I do not like heat either. I'm definitely not falling for picking up more gunpowder. I'm going to jiggle this in here. Any character flaws? I don't know about them, though, honey. Never heard of them, never had them, don't know nothing about them. Explosive A. That's probably good. And what we could have now had done do, I'm gonna combine this with this other explosive. We got three flame rounds. Oh, and now I have infinite. And now I have, look at it, it just keeps loading and the number just kept going up and I just kept loading the gun and it's happening for me now. I got 99 flame rounds. This is where the game gets interesting, honey. This is where we set the entire sewer on fire. We set the entire town on fire from underneath. That is now the plot. If some, if these things are crawling around the sewers, honey, I don't need them to get out, honey. And we're gonna have to burn down the city and start all over. This is okay. This is exactly like when you start up Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're circling back around. In Animal Crossing New Horizons. You get the villagers you don't want, and you have to set your entire island on fire and start over. Okay, that's exactly what's happening here, and we're just gonna have to deal with this in a rational completely rational way. I'm just feeling very rational today, honey. I just found my box of purple Kool-Aid, and I'm feeling very ra- You can jump. You can fucking jump, honey. You can fucking- Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! I don't want to get eaten, because I know I will actually die if I get eaten, and that is not something- I know you die. I know you die. So, okay, honey. I'm just gonna sneak around. You just take, you just take a nap, honey. We're just- It's a sedative. It's a little sedative tranquilizer gun, and I just have to get out of here. Just have to skadoodle on out of here. The battery pack door was right up here and I'm very thankful to have found this battery which I can slide in to this is a huge fucking battery honey you want I want one of these on my cell phone to be honest I don't care how big my cell phone is honey I'm sick of it dying after I'm watching Disney Plus in the bathtub for two hours okay I'm watching uh Dr. Oakley Yukon Vet honey. okay okay this is my I'm obsessed with uh vet shows right now and that's my favorite vet show of the moment and that's all I have really had to say on the subject and uh everything I'm doing in this game I learned from vet shows that is absolutely not true at all uh, by the way the vet shows are amazing and this is not how they usually end and I need another battery pack
right here. There's a can, and I can I take it out of this door and put it in this door because you would think you could prop this door open, slip out the battery pack, and put it in the other door. But I've got a feeling, yeah, it's jammed, honey. That that's how they get you with cell phones too. They make non-replaceable cell phone batteries. Then you got to get a new cell phone, honey. It's not sustainable. There's definitely a lack of zombies right now, and part of me is wishing that I oh I can unlock it from this side now, and maybe. That has no- Now, I can get the- Now it lets me get the battery, because that door relocks. You would think that I wouldn't have to find another way, and that I could just prop the door open. There are plenty of rocks and bricks down there that I saw. That's explosive, right? That's explosive. I mean, I know I just shot it with- <laughs> Ooh, just a little- It's just a singe, honey. You'll just get right off of there. I know I shot the oil with explosives, but I think it was already meant to be explosive in the first place. So now I'm going to put the battery in this door- Love a good battery door, and we can sneak a peek. This was the initial door, and now I can pick up a brand new hip pouch, honey. We are... Wait, did I already have maximum... I didn't even turn on a cheat to... I have the cheat turned off that gives me maximum hip pouch. Well, we're just gonna pretend that I didn't, and that I needed a new hip pouch, and that is what I did right for once. Another cute bag that I can't pick up. Once again, this game is just teasing me with all of... I need to stop picking up shit. I need to dump some of this shit. Get rid of this ammo. We need to get rid of... I've got, honey, I got 99 problems, and all of these bullets are every single one of them. Well, these doors seem to be done, and I would have liked to snatch this battery pack once again. I think it's always a good idea to carry a battery pack when you're smirking in the poo in a situation like this. And so I'm feeling very suspicious. Oh, look, and now we can knock this. Wait, am I done in the sewer? I went everywhere. Didn't I go everywhere? I went everywhere. I didn't go in this door. This is the one door that I... Oh, and there's a note. There's another deal. I increased sewer security. And this is where we get the T. Unlocking the new electronic log squad. supposed to my battery pack. This is probably the first note that I should have read. And this is the first note I should have read to understand what was going on. But I didn't even need it. Because I already knew what was going on, honey. You gotta wake up pretty early to pull one over on old Josephine, honey. Because I know that something's up here. And I see a, a very low resolution warning keep out sign. You know, you might want to blow that sign up a little bit if you really didn't want me to go in here. They clearly don't care if I wander around in here or else Carlos, they would have made the sign a little bit. Carlos? Oh, shit. Do you know what? I just realized I did not turn yeah, Carlos's short hair mod back on. Carlos needs hair conditioner literally all over again. Someone's ready to go? We'll leave us... Oh, my God. They waited for me. That is so nice. Okay, we are crawling out of the... I was in... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. I think that would kill someone, actually, for realsies, but this is not a good situation. That's definitely something that explodes things. That is definitely an explodey type thing. Escape the creature. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry. I just really have to, I just got bit in the neck, and it's my hair right now that's the problem, and I just, I'm not sure if I, if someone's trying to catch me on fire, and if I, I'm gonna close this down. We're just gonna shut this down right, okay, he done, he's done see that, and he's done peeping, and he's mad. He's peeping and he's mad. Got that, sl got that uh, uh, slid down right there. I assume I'm going to keep on running. Yes, it can very clearly use weapons. That very clearly sees, seems to be a problem. I do not actually know right now if I am in... I just alerted everybody. I just alerted every... You just walk right into that fire, honey. That is okay. There's a burning zombie trying to bite me right now. This is just another day, honey. Everyone's jealous of my purple hair. I get it. You know what? I get it. Okay, he's definitely, like, up here. I definitely see something is uh, the situation. And I do see that there is some fire being lit up behind me. And it just doesn't seem I need to hold this. Why would I hold this? Okay, that's exactly why I'm holding this. It just seems like, you know, if you really wanted to live in this situation, you might run a little bit faster. Like, I, I recommend running as fast as you can. He really books it up those stairs, honey. You can tell it's leg day for him sometimes, for sure. Okay, I gotta still kill, sti guys, still keep going, though. Just a little situation. Okay, yeah, he's got tentacle arms, is what I see. It's definitely arms uh, that seem to be made out of tentacles. I just don't understand why he hasn't killed me at this point, because it's, you can't, okay, thank goodness she learned how to jump, because we haven't been able to jump until that exact second in time, and I'm really glad this is a straight path through here, because we're definitely getting chased. Oh! We were supposed to get chased in the last episode. This is kind of making up for it, because everything's on fire. And, um, you know, that makes everything more fun. When everything is burning around you, honey, we're up in the stakes. We're up in 
the situation, my, my hair color. We don't want my hair color to get ruined. Definitely spooky. Thanks, Abner. Definitely spooky. I don't know why he's not grabbing me with his tentacles, but I don't really have time to worry about it either. I just have absolutely zero minutes to worry about. Is this a, is this really a safe room? Okay, you know what? The building's burning down, but I can chill here for a second. I'm just gonna calm down. In fact, I might read this stack of letters, honey. Notice of demolition delay. Uh, demolition, the was delay at Barnaby office building. I'm talking about safety reasons. The generators move the savings into the roof. I mean, that's just a whole bunch of language to me. My hair's still looking good. I better save the game. Save the game while my hair is looking fresh to death. And we're, I guess we're just gonna continue up to the roof. It doesn't seem like the best plan to maybe head to the roof while the building's on fire. But I guess we didn't really have a... Oh my god, look how much he can lift. He's very angry right now. And it seems... That, uh, yeah, we're doing this, honey. And actually, I just made the problem worse because now he's on fire and now I'm on fire. T take your time loading these, you know, maybe. Just actually, you can take all the time you need. Why is he not really aiming at me? He's really just not aiming at it. Do I need to do something with these generators? Do I need to maybe boop up this? He, no, he's just definitely still gonna d d throw some flames at me and now he's actually aiming. So I should probably dodge this situation. Oh, there's some explosive. Oh, my, my head's on fire right there. My head's on fire. I don't exactly have a lot of time to... Oh, my alarm's going off. That's what that sound... My alarm's been going off for the past three minutes. Listen, I forgot I set an alarm. Can I pick up that hat? I can't even pick up that hat. Well, this is a ding-dong doozy of a day. Let me tell you about this day, honey. It is what we had to... Okay, I don't know what that dodge was, but I just totally flipped around. I'm gonna load the explosive rounds because those might be fun. He's got to reload, too. Love a good explosive round, honey. It looks like something is finally happening. He's running towards me, though, and I have a very bad feeling he could potentially crush my brain. And I'm not entirely sure why he hasn't already crushed my brain. You could just... Oh! Okay, 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 he's a sneaky. He's a sneaky right out of there. Oh, because I just shocked myself. He's shooting into the air, and it's raining fire. There is... It's raining fire right here, right now. Excuse me, I just need one half of a second. If you could just give me one little peeper of a second, just right here, just aiming at your feet. Just gonna aim at your feet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Got him. He's down. He's fucking down. Can I take the gun away from you? I can't seem to... No. He picked it back up. He can actually say words. So if you could just come over here by this generator, I've got one more round and we're just gonna attempt to electrify everything. Did not seem to work. Need to reload one more time. So here's the T. I am going to have to shoot at your... He's dodging everything, honey. He is so quick on his feet. If you could just give me one... Oh, my hair. Okay, this is just not it. I'm not about it. This ain't it, sis. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's dead, done. He exploded. I've decided that my best option is to jump off a roof. That's where all the decisions in my life have led me to this exact moment. The hair dye, it's all falling in together, honey. My destiny, it's all, it's piecing together. Right here, right now. It's all coming to... Uh, it's conclusion. I assume Carlos, shirtless Carlos is gonna catch me and we're gonna hand him some hair conditioner, which Jill also now needs because her hair's a little, ooh, her hair seems to be a little bit fried from all of the, uh, the hair dye. Uh, I'm not dead yet though. My boots look amazing. That's the real important thing here. Hair, still great. Boots, still great. That's, what can you say about it, honey? P a flawless landing. So, I'm a little bit shocked. Seems like I might be in shock right now. Don't, sh not sure if the creature's dead. But honey, I'm, I'm back up, honey, and I'm ready to go. I will not stop until Carlos... Ha Am I literally right back it's where Jill. I was? Do you read me? Hey, Carlos! Uh, Just calling to check in. You all right? Oh, a few yeah. bumps, a few scratches. Dead. You know, I wouldn't really go that far. He might not be dead. Okay, sure. You know what? I was feeling quirky. Woke up Don't feeling quirky. To. Next, I've dyed my hair. Don't let it, like, freak you out next time I see you. It's not just a phase. I just want you to know. Subway's ready, gotta hurry back, gonna get to Subway Station. So, oh, you can actually climb this. I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to climb this. This is something bad's gonna happen. Let me tell you a little story. And that story is called Something Fucking Bad is About to Fucking Happen. Something Fucking Bad is About to Fucking Happen because you don't walk across a ladder in a video game. Nothing bad is happening. Absolutely nothing. Nothing bad just happened, except for these zombies. The zombies exploded, so, you know, not their day. Jumping on down here, oh, I guess that just means I can't, I can't turn back now. 
There's no turning back. And I'm just gonna do a few test shots right there. Someone's banging on that fence over there. I'm just gonna ignore that situation. Oh, this is that gun store. Didn't my friend turn into a zombie and die in here? Oh, he was so quirky. I do hope we see him again. Oh, okay, oh, 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 Kind right. Right. Oh no, that Stretch. is not him. Was it his name Brad? Sorry, our first villager to move out of our island. No shit. Look, it's a it's a quirky times. You win? Subway. Well, yeah, you wanna I mean I got a, we got a ride. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. I thought it said skillet. I thought maybe he had a really good cast iron skillet. Nothing, just a, you never part with a good cast iron skillet, honey, once you get it seasoned. You take all the cast iron skillets you can get. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make Wait. other arrangements, okay? What's happening? Better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, Why no. is he not don't escaping town? Oh, that's that's I'm your a... job, right? He's hiding uh, something. Something's not right here, and I'm really su Take care, Jill. I'm really suspicious about literally this entire situation. I'm gonna get his gate key, honey. Oh, that was probably for the outside. If you're heading to the station, take, take that, that service. service alley out in front of the shop, okay? Excuse me, are you okay in there? He's hanging on the wall. I wonder if he has really bad diarrhea and he's really embarrassed. Listen, do not be embarrassed. I just smirked through a whole bunch of... Oh, shit. Wait, was he in Resident Evil 2 and his daughter turned into a zombie? Am I about to hear a gunshot? I don't hear anything, but I'm a little suspicious. I'm just gonna back away slowly, maybe set everything on fire in here. Maybe I'll just casually set everything on fire. And there is a lovely point to save my game, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you know what? We're gonna continue setting things on fire, maybe whip up a few more mods, in the day episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope y'all are still enjoying Resident Evil 3, the remake. If you are, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.